G'day and welcome to eLearning Quick Tip number 38. Today I'll show you the teacher column in the Grade Center and really show you what a useful tool it can be to claim and identify your students amongst the others. So let me get into the Grade Center. So here I am. Those familiar with the Grade Center will recognize that there are a number of columns that are added there. One of which is this column called Teacher. And really its purpose is for you to be able to type in um, your name to effectively claim students within the Grade Centre that are yours. So that's quite simple. I simply type that in and I've now identified that student as being one of mine. Imagine, for instance, that, that we're in a team teaching environment. There might be some of my colleagues also involved in the delivery of this unit and we now have a mechanism to be able to identify who's who in the zoo. But it can be a bit laborious to continually type your own name in. I'll show you a nice little trick um, if you were to highlight that and hit Control and the letter C, Control C is copy of course, I've now copied that and I can actually use my keyboard to simply navigate through the cells. All I'm doing at the moment, and I'll explain it as I do it, is hitting the return key. And you'll notice that by hitting the return, I move down through the cells. I can also use the up and down arrow key, so now I'm pressing the up key. So indeed, with these techniques, I can simply move down to a student that might be mine, use Control and the letter V, Control and V for Victor, is to paste, and paste my name against that student, and hit Enter. And maybe this one's one of mine, and this one's one of mine. So in fact, putting my name against my students is actually quite quick, particularly if you learn that little trick by navigating with your keyboard. And it's a useful technique all throughout the Grade Center. Okay, so I've claimed my own students, but I now I start to wonder, well, what's in it for me? Wouldn't it be really nice if, if I'm only responsible for those students with my name against them? That's all I really want to see. So I'm going to use a new technique called Smart Views now to show me the grade center only where the teacher equals Greg Bird. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm going into the Manage set of tools, and I'm going to go down to Smart Views. And I'm going to create a new smart view. And I might call the smart view just GB. Oh, I'll call it Greg's students. That's probably a better name. And I'm going to add it as a favorite, and I'll explain why later on. And then I'm going to say, show me this, this performance is the right one. Show me anywhere that where the grade on teacher, so really what if a value is typed into the field for teacher, is equal to, and control V again, Greg Bird. So basically anywhere where the teacher is Greg Bird. And I hit submit. So what is now has happened is I've created a new um, smart view and added it to this unit. And if I now have a look under the Grade Center, now, my apologies, I've now added this twice, I was playing around before, but you can see it here. I've got a list item just underneath the full Grade Center to Greg's students. And by clicking on that, I'm only now seeing any students where the teacher equals Greg Bird. So that's made my life easier now. I'm only seeing and concentrating on my own students, and I continue now to enter grades, mark submitted work, etc., etc., paying only attention to my own students. The rest of the students haven't gone away, of course, they're still there. And I could go back to the full grade center and would now see all of the students displayed here. So it could be really useful. That um, teacher column is also useful in a number of other ways, including some reporting tools. So it's a good advantage all around to get your name against your students early in the delivery of that unit. All right, good on you guys.